tutorial that I follow uh, wants you to put like tapes here and here but I don't have tapes so I'm going to use my um, what is that called uh, band-aids for the side of my eye and I think this is going to be better because this is supposed to be supposed to go on your skin anyways so I'm going to do that and then uh, I'm going to do the fake lashes as well not because I'm going anywhere nothing is happening today but I'm just I just wanted to learn how to do it and um, yeah let's just use one because this one this one is angled I don't know if you can see or not but this one is and yeah my nail came off but this one is angled so I don't think it's the best one for this so I'm going to try to use this one for both of my eyes like that oh. this is really painful okay oh my god I'm not good <laughs> I can totally see that this is going to fail but let's see okay let's see I don't know if you have to let it dry and then take off the thing or you just have to Okay, it's not... It's not that bad. I didn't do a great job, but it's not bad either. Well, this one is... I learned this. I mean, this one is coming off a little bit, but who cares? Like, I'm gonna take it off tonight, anyways, and we're not gonna go anywhere. Oh, here. <laughs> oh, perfect. They are all done. Okay, so let's go. I follow the tutorial for um, how to do um, a liquid eyeliner and also that what I call the fake lashes so that's what it is but because it was my first time I don't think I did a real uh, I didn't do a great job but um, definitely it's gonna get better because I'm going to try it more often and plus I uh, my some of my nails fall off so I've decided to fix that too so that's that when I was a kid when I was younger I used to have a uh, chickens as pet like one day old chickens and things like that uh, yeah I had like one day old chickens as pet and I love them so much because they are the cutest and since I had them I had so many of these chickens and some of them grow to become a rooster or things like that um, I love them so much okay they were like my children since I had so much interactions with them when I was the kid, i become a chicken whisperer. My hidden talent is that I can translate uh, chicken's language to human language. That's why I thought I can give you, I can tell you how to understand chicken language and try to have a better relationship with your chicken. And in none of these sounds, uh, none of the chickens got hurt or anything because um, one of the sounds that I got, it's from uh, a chick called Albert, is from that uh, channel and it's like the best channel ever. I watch it every time. This guy rescues um, lots of animals and take care of them and he's an amazing guy. Uh, this first one. So if your chicken make this sound, this means that your chicken needs attention. And um, uh, you have to give them attention as soon as possible because if you don't give them attention, they won't stop making this sound. And uh, it's even it, it will get louder over time and they won't stop it because they need attention. So by attention, you can just put your hands around them so they will feel warm and they will feel safe. Uh, so that way they will stop making these sounds 
that sound um when your chicken make that sound that means that uh, your chicken is hurt and you want to not do the thing that you did that makes your chicken hurt because if you do that then your chicken won't trust you anymore and uh, in this i know that um this sound is a sound of a chicken that is hurt but actually it was the, this is the one that i told you it's from um a chick called Albert, it, I got it from a chick called Albert. Um, it was just helping the chicken because there was like a poop that stuck the back of the chicken, and then he was helping the chicken to remove that poop. So he wasn't nobody was hurting that chicken. This is like a grown-up chicken. This is not a chicken chicken. <laughs> This is the sound of a suspicious chicken. If you're if your chicken making this sound, that means that your chicken is suspicious of your of you. So you want to clear your intentions as soon as possible. If your chicken makes this sound, that means that good job. Your chicken is very happy with you because that is the sound of a relaxed chicken or a chicken who is going to fall asleep uh, soon. Follow the things that I told you and if you just um, listen to your chicken and uh, respond to your chicken properly, you're going to have an amazing relationship with your chicken. If you really need to do your stuff as fast as possible and then um, this is like a very good life hack that happened to me recently I drink a lot of coffee and a lot of tea and a lot of water and then start running your errands and don't let yourself go to the washroom until all of your errands are done that way you're back for all the judging people out there, I had an impulse and I bought the camera that I told, the phone that I told you, the um, Wowie or ha Hawaii. Uh, the wo uh, I'm not gonna say its name. Give me a break. Uh, don't. Okay. I I pressed the next button and then when I press the next, it says if you press next, your order is going to be canceled. And I pressed the next button and then I thought about it for a few minutes and I was like, yeah, I want to cancel my order. I don't want it anymore. And then I said, okay, well, I'll cancel my order. And then today I got an email that it says, thanks for buying the uh, phone from us or something like that. And then I was just so confused because they told me if you press next, your order is going to get canceled. But obviously it's not canceled, so it is still going to come. And right now, I'm in the middle of, I don't know what to do. I don't regret it that much to call them and tell them I don't want the phone anymore, but I don't want the phone anymore. Okay, let's talk about inductors very quickly. Let's see. Yeah, that's good. You totally, I know that some of you, even my friends, why am I so crooked? Okay, perfect. I know that some of you skip the parts that I explain about electronic stuff, but you shouldn't do that with this one because this is one of the most not important. I mean, it is very important, but it is very interesting. Like you would you will like inductors. I like inductors a lot too. So inductors in a sense are very are similar to both resistors and capacitors okay so resistors in a sense that when um, when you apply um, current when you apply voltage across it and when current is going through the um, uh, inductor at first they're like no I won't let you pass uh, they resist it a little bit uh, they resist actually a lot they say no you can't pass and then after that when you push like you keep pushing and pushing and pushing and then it says like okay go and then you can go you can go as fast as you can okay it doesn't after well, if when you break that resistance at the beginning it just doesn't care anymore and the disclaimer this is what I understood about inductors 
again I'm telling you check the um, comment section because if I make a mistake in uh, everything in something that I'm explaining there are some um, smart people who are going to correct me and I'm not saying that as in um, being mean to people who correct me I'm just saying that it's a good idea to check the comment section so uh, if I made a mistake somebody's going to correct me uh, yeah so I was telling you so first they will resist they say no you can't pass and then after that when when the current start passing it will say okay pass you can pass as much as you want I don't care anymore um, so yeah and that is about the inductors uh, first they resist first they act like resistant a uh, resistor and then after that when you uh, push them uh, enough they will just let you pass very easily they don't care anymore at that point but then if you stop with your resistance they they won't be very happy about it and they will still um, try to supply the circuit with the power okay they won't let it they won't let it just die down they, they just like no you can't so they are basically resisting the change okay they don't like the change they want something to be consistent they're like either go or don't go um, and so this is this is one of so you can see that if you have DC in your uh, circuit because as we talked about before DC is like a line it keeps sending the voltage okay it, sorry it keeps sending the current it keep letting the electrons pass okay so they are magnetic uh, sorry um, inductors are very happy with DC current okay at first they say like no you can't pass but then when you start like when you give them enough they were like okay well yeah go but then if you stop it they don't like that either and um, they will start they will still try to uh, keep the same uh, situation they, they will still try to uh, give more power to the circuit um, give uh, so that that basically means that if you have if you have an inductor in your circuit um, they will still uh, give some power after your DC current is stopped they will still try to supply some power even after the power is off uh, from the circuit so from this part we see that they are very similar to capacitors because capacitors were doing the same thing they would keep um, the what they call it, they would keep the um, they would store the power and then they would give it away when uh, the power was off from the circuit so inductors kind of doing the same thing but a little bit different so if you have like a DC that's important if you have DC and then you stop your DC then they will still supply some power uh, to your um, circuit but then um, as I told you they have some resistance to change okay so uh, if you remember from the previous video I told you there is another type of current which is AC alternating current so DC was direct current AC is alternating current so if you are applying an alternating current to your inductor because if you remember AC was going back and forth back and forth back and forth and we said inductors don't like changes that much so that means that if you apply um, AC to your inductor they keep saying no 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 so what's gonna happen is they won't let the current pass so that means they will stop it okay they they won't let it pass so that means they will stop it because you're pushing a little bit it says no nope, and then you're pushing back a little bit this is no okay so so that's the thing with the inductors it will I think it will, it's called choke or something if I'm not mistaken if I don't make a mistake here I think it's called choke that type of inductors that are um, for stopping the alternating currents if you don't want the alternating current to be in your circuit uh, that's one of the uses of the inductors and then if you wanted to look or um, when, when you're looking in the circuit if you want to um, uh, look for your inductors inductors are normally the ones that have like a wire wrapped like like a coil type of wire uh, sometimes they have like a 
core inside of it as well but if you see like so much wire wrapped around something that means that uh, that's probably an inductor there's a very very good chance that that's an inductor that the um uh, uh, capacitors stores energy uh, in electric field in the form of an electric field but um, uh, um, uh, inductors store the energy in the form of magnetic field okay and we talked about the three most important components three simple most important components in any electronic circuit so we're done with that and then after that let me see what else uh, are we gonna start with that's going to be um, helpful and we're gonna start building on up on the these stuff and try to figure out try to analyze circuits and stuff like that I mean not like uh, uh, what is it called not with the formulas and things like that because you know I think one of the reasons that electronic and <laughs> I become the expert again <laughs> I think one of the reasons that people don't like electronic and software and stuff like that it's because of those numbers that don't make any sense like a formulas and numbers that don't make any sense but it is actually you're able to explain um, explain them in simple language okay you don't necessarily need I mean if you want to be precise exactly you can use the numbers and the stuff but I have a feeling that you can um, explain it in English language without needing to like use formulas and stuff like that because after all um, people have the understanding first and then they um, built the formula based on the understanding that they have from the electronic circuits and from the software and stuff like that so I think if you understand what each component is going to do inside of your circuit you would be able to explain why there are certain components in the circuit and what each each of those components do for the circuit okay so that way you're able to design it design the circuits that you want like if you want to build something for yourself if you know what each component's going to do you will you will have the basic idea of what you have to build and then after that you can go and calculate the stuff so you will exactly know what like what value of like uh, capacitors or resistors or inductors or whatever it is that you want to use in your circuit you have to use because you know I have a feeling that the, one of the biggest mistakes that people do in the electronic field and in the um, software field is that they start with telling you um, uh, about the formulas and stuff like that and then it's just like <clears throat> I don't like this anymore I, I don't want to learn about it anymore because it's not interesting it's just like it's just like math and I can totally see why people don't like it it's just because the because of the way that they are teaching us um, it's because of all the rules and stuff like that they don't explain to you like uh, what's going on like for example something that we talked about before I'm gonna drink a little bit more coffee ah! oh no I love this I hope it doesn't stain I mean it's mostly water now but whatever um damn it I love this one what else were we talking about were we talking about something important why do I have a feeling that I stopped in the middle of something that's going to make me very mad if I have stopped in the middle of something and I just stop recording that would be really bad that would make me mad I hope I didn't stop in the middle of something should I tell everything that I said again I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in next video bye